Rooted, week nine, day four, your story, part two. As we left Paul's story yesterday in Acts 26, he had begun to tell his story to King Agrippa. After telling all of his life before his conversion, he transitioned to how he met Christ. On one of these journeys, I was going to Damascus with the authority and commission of the chief priests. About noon, King Agrippa, as I was on the road, I saw a light from heaven, brighter than the sun, blazing around me and my companions. We all fell to the ground, and I heard a voice saying to me in Aramaic, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? It is hard for you to kick against the goats. Then I asked, Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, the Lord replied. Now get up and stand on your feet. I have prepared to you to appoint you as a servant and as a witness of what you have seen and will see of me. I will rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I am sending you to them to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Acts 26, 12 through 18. This is the commitment part of Paul. This is the commitment part of Paul's story. At that point, his name was still Saul. This is when Jesus came to him. Paul explained exactly what that meeting was like, what he heard, what he saw, and how he reacted. The more honest and transparent you are in telling how you came to Christ, the more powerful it tends to be. Commitment. As you prepare this part of your story, simply recount the events and circumstances that caused you to consider Christ as the solution to your searching. Take time to identify the steps that brought you to the point of trusting Christ. It may be that you were taken to church by a friend and heard a message, or someone told you his or her story and you related to him or her. Or maybe you had been searching for something that was missing in your life and discovered Jesus another way. If you have not yet committed your life to Christ, consider where you are and what questions you have that you can share with your group this week. Take several minutes and write this portion of your story. Again, don't hold back. Emotions that come up as you remember your personal situation. Let me say that again. Take several minutes and write this portion of your story. Again, don't hold back emotions that come up as you remember your personal situation. Remember as many details as you can. This is where you are telling about Jesus and what he did for you. Be sure to include these elements. How you came to terms with the sin in your life. When did you finally understand you were separated from God? What made you realize you needed God in your life? When did you realize you needed forgiveness and had to change the way you were living? Be honest with the doubts, excitement, or other feelings you had as you were presented with relationship with Jesus Christ. How did you actually invite Jesus into your life? Quietly in your heart, praying aloud, going forward in a church service over a period of time, in one sudden emotionally packed moment, did it happen during your rooted experience? Was there anyone else prominently involved in you becoming a Christian? Did you get baptized right away? If you haven't been baptized, you'll have the chance to at the end of Rooted. Paul concludes his story with the after or since portion of his life. So then, King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the vision from heaven, first to those in Damascus, then to those in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and then to the Gentiles. I preached that they should repent and turn to God and demonstrate their repentance by their deeds. That is why some Jews seized me in the temple courts and tried to kill me. But God has helped me to this very day. So I stand here and testify to small and great alike. I am saying nothing beyond what the prophets and Moses said would happen. 
that the Messiah would suffer, and as the first to rise from the dead, I would bring the message of light to his own people and to the Gentiles. Acts 26, 19-23. After Paul presented his story, you may think King Agrippa was won over and committed his life to Christ immediately, but not quite. Look at what the king says. Then Agrippa said to Paul, Do you think that in such a short time you can persuade me to be a Christian? Paul's response, Short time or long, I pray to God that not only you, but all who are listening to me today may become what I am, except for these chains. Paul did his part. He told his whole story and then committed to pray for his listeners and their decision about Christ. That is what we are asked to do. Tell our story and pray for those who hear it.